Hello everyone, welcome back to The Kitchen Table. Today on The Kitchen Table we're just going to be talking about um, a bit of preventative maintenance. As you know I like a bit of preventative maintenance, but it's about cleaning the rather important contacts in here and in here. Uh, but before we go any further we must obviously always have a beverage when we're discussing things and um, I, I need all the energy I can get so I'm just finishing off the very last dregs of this cup of coffee. So um, Guatemalan, home roasted as usual. Cheers. Mm. Done. Right. So, um, oh, one thing I must do, I must just thank one of my subscribers, uh, Jeremy, uh, noticed that I used my, I have my cutting board, um, and he was a bit worried for my safety that I don't appear to have a metal ruler for safely cutting. So he rather kindly sent me this one with a cork back there that sits proud with, with beautiful. So thank you very much, and I appreciate the, um, the thought for my fingers. Next time I get the scalpel out, uh, I will be sure to use it. So cheers to Jeremy. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, this is a, um, the result of, a, of an email I had from a subscriber um, wondering about um, cleaning the electrical contacts inside his aircraft. Um, and quite rightly to be concerned about that because after all the only thing that's transmitting the power from the battery to the aircraft is these little gold-plated pins in here and the female connectors in here. Um, and he was kind of noticing a bit of kind of discoloration, a bit of deposit, and, 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 you know, was talking about whether I cleaned them and if so, how. The answer is I do. And it's probably a hangover from the days of the original vision where there was a bit of an issue with these data pins and the pads on the battery, the corresponding ones. In the original vision, the firmware basically said, oh, if you detect that you don't have a DJI smart battery, you mustn't start the props, which is fine if you're on the ground. But because of various issues with these pins in the very early models, sometimes it would decide it was a non-DJI battery in the air and cut the power. And a few people had their aircraft plummet before DJI rewrote the firmware. Um, because I have the original type pins in here, which are like little sharp bullet points rather than these sort of um, little crowned tips, um, I can still occasionally get um, no contact on the data points. And one of the things that helps is to clean up your connectors. So basically it's just a, a quick demonstration of, of what I do. Um, there are a few products you can use. I, you may have, for those of you who've been watching for a long time, this was often in the background in the early days when I had the original vision. Uh, it's Wins Electrical Contact Cleaner. It's a UK company that's not available in the US but um, I just bought this from Amazon. There's still about three quarters of that left, two thirds maybe. It goes a long way. Uh, it's plastic safe, it's electrical contacts, obviously safe and electronic safe, it leaves no residue, um, it dries very quickly, it, it, you know, it'll also clean your CDs and DVDs. So it's wins, I'll put a link in the description, it's available from Amazon in the UK. It's not available in the US because it's a UK, it's a UK company, um, but in the US I know that I've had people um, recommend the WD-40 electrical cleaning product. Uh, it's very, very similar I suspect, again it's degreasing, there's no residue, it's plastic safe which is all important in the Phantom. So I'll put a link to that in the description as well for, for Amazon US to look, you, know, you can look at there. Um, but there, yeah, the bottom line is make sure whatever you use, it's plastics safe. And off, on a regular basis, all I do is literally give it a squirt. Right in there, there we go. And similarly on here, that's it. Then I leave that to evaporate, which it does very quickly. Uh, and it's done. Now one of the things you can do is if you have, if you don't do this on a regular basis and you've got a build up of deposits, if you get a, uh, a lint free cotton swab, a q-tip, a cotton bud, whatever they're called in your particular geography, then you can use that to just give a little, give a little bit of a scrub there and you can get around the back of those. And you can also just gent gently do the edges of the pins. What I find is if you give them a little push in and just cycle those, uh, cycle the springs. And you can already see, I haven't done it for a little while. Oh, look at the muck on there. Can you see that? No, probably not. But there is muck. Uh, so it does lift it off. Um, if you do that quite regularly, then a quick squirt of that, I find, just, just lifts it. The other thing is these, uh, these data pads here, you can see that sometimes they have, you won't be able to see probably, there we go. They you th sometimes get little scoring marks from where the, uh, the, the pins are kind of in a high vibration environment moving across the surface and that can be a place where dirt can be trapped and you can get an intermittent sort of an intermittent connection so just a quick a quick rub with a lint free you can't do anything really in there unless you've got a thin swab but that that should be fine as long as you've done both 
and that's it. Um, and that's all I, all I do. The last of that it comes out quite, quite fierce. It's already starting to evaporate nicely. Wait until it's completely evaporated off and then you're good to go. Um, and, and just a little squirt of that. I mean, you know, every few flights uh, as part of coming home and putting things away, I get, have this to hand, quick squirt, and it keeps things going. Now, one of the things you can use and people do rate is uh, if you've got your batteries are getting a bit long in the tooth, you can find that those pads actually start to wear a little and you know you're starting to get intermittent invalid battery errors all the time it's not just a question of a bit of dirt it's actually a question of the the contact pad wearing out especially if you put a lot of flight hours on these things there is a product i haven't tried it myself it's quite expensive in the uk but it's called deoxit gold it's a uh, and my understanding is that it actually kind of it actually puts a, a almost a new micron thin layer of gold contact surface back onto the pads so that can be a great combination to kind of clean off any any gunk and then use something like deoxid um, again i haven't used that i haven't had to yet um, i've got a few batteries so they tend to cycle around in use but if you are having problems like that then deoxid gold seems to get very good press in all the, the dji forums and so on again i believe you can get it quite readily from um from amazon um i'm not sure i haven't checked but if you can i'll put a link down in the description or i'll put a link to the company's website and you can find out distributors so that was it just part of my preventative maintenance the good thing about the contact cleaner is of course you can use it anywhere on the phantom so if you have had a bit of a an unexpected landing shall we say and you have you're worried that you've got a bit of crap in the in the motors or something like that you know you can you can give this a good blast um there is a, a, a you can put a straw attachment on there the wd-41 comes with one attached already just to get into all the nooks and crannies but there we go electrical contact cleaner non-residue um and plastic safe is what you need to look for uh, and that's what i do and one of these good old things just keeps everything uh, working. Again, it, it's one of those things where hopefully if you do that regularly, you won't have the issue. If you are having issues already, then you may need to get a, a bit of a scrub and a clean up and you may need to look at something to improve the contact surfaces. But that was it. I hope that was useful to some. Many thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon back on the kitchen table. Until then, oh no, I've run out of coffee. Oh well, cheers.